In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace C.R. a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Wednesday, the 24th of April, 2024, fourth week of Easter, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Dr. Amy Malewezi, celebrating her birthday today, and also her wedding anniversary with Deacon Justin Malewezi, from Liverpool, United Kingdom, text for us the first reading. Grace and Smart Zongololo from Johannesburg, South Africa, celebrating their wedding anniversary today, take for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Ponchano Mulenga, a selection of Don Bosco celebrating his birthday today, working in Mansa, Zambia. Let us pray. O oh God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 12, from verse 24 to chapter 13, verse 5a. In those days, the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their mission, bringing with them John, whose other name was Mark. Now, in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, a member of the court of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm chapter 67, verses 2 to 3, 5, 6, and 8. And the response is taken from Psalm chapter 67, verse 4. And the response is, Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Let, Let the, the people, people praise you, O oh God. Let, Let all the people, people praise you. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. Let, Let the, the people, people praise you, O oh God. Let, Let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let, Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing, that all the ends of the earth may revere him. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. 
Gospel Acclamation, John chapter 8, verse 12. Alleluia. light of the world, says the Lord. He who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord john chapter 12 verses 44 to 50 at that time jesus cried out and said he who believes in me believes not in me but in him who sent me and he who sees me Seize him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone who hears my sayings and does not keep them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings as a judge, the word that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, the Father who sent me has himself given me commandment what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I say therefore, I say as the Father has bidden me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is something worth noting when we are going through the Acts of the Apostles. The church was led by the Spirit. From the time the Spirit came on the Apostles, they started doing everything by the power of the Holy Spirit. And it was the Holy Spirit that kept directing their paths. I hope we are getting something here. What we mean by the Holy Spirit directing one's path is that the person led by the Spirit will be self-motivated. Self-moved, not just living by the rule, but going beyond the minimum requirements of the law. People who are only doing what the rule says have no innovations. They cannot at all think of an alternative. They just want to do what they are asked to do, and that's it. Those are led by the law. But those who are led by the Spirit will be open to new avenues of life. They will be ready for anything that God shows them to do. They are risk takers. And we need more people led by the Spirit who are risk takers, who are ready to venture into the social media world to make sure Christ is known in all corners. Let the Spirit speak to you today as you listen to this word that you will stop using that social media platform just for dancing, just for entertaining people and start info turning people, giving information to people, because my people are perishing due to lack of knowledge. Educate them. I see so many people using the platform to help people understand about medical conditions. It is good. Educate them. 
Use social media platforms to evangelize. The Spirit will speak to you in those terms. You cannot just be rigid to focus on one thing. No, the disciples were open to the biddings of the Spirit and they were ready to venture into other fields. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. They didn't know where they were going. But because of that work of the Spirit, I can stand here today and preach to you. The word reached all the corners of the world and it is still doing that because we are open to the Spirit. Do not put a full stop to anything. If you want the Spirit to work in you, the Spirit doesn't want people who finish a sentence. It wants people who are open to new sentences and are ready to operate as the Spirit wills. It can happen in your life. But remove your rigidity in your mind. You are too rigid. You are not open to the spirit who wants to work in your life. And once you are open to the spirit, you will start seeing light in your life. Jesus in the gospel passage of today tells those people who are listening, I have come as light into the world that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. He doesn't want anyone to remain in darkness. And I'm preaching to you because I don't want any one of us to remain in darkness. And I know many other priests are preaching to us that we may not remain in darkness just as other pastors are preaching the same. They're not doing so to judge anybody. Because Jesus says, I did not come to judge. No, I came to serve the world, not to judge the world. Maybe most of our preachings are too judgmental. And if that is how I sound, please forgive me. My aim is not to judge you. My aim is to just prick your conscience so that when you feel something, you may realize I'm not on the right path and start treading on the path of light that Jesus came to bring into this world. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Wednesday to you. Thanks be to God. Amen.